Kevin Rudd has spent the day campaigning hard in Western Sydney as new polling shows that Labour is in real danger of losing five seats in the region. The Prime Minister was up at the crack of dawn to visit Flemington markets and talk to growers and wholesalers about Labour's plan for small business. Everyone's core focus here in Australia right now is on their jobs, job security and having a family or a household pay packet. You don't have that, everything else falls away. I'm passionate about jobs. The last five or six years, despite the GFC, we've added nearly a million jobs in the Australian economy. And we're going to continue to build jobs into the future. That is a core part of what we're saying to the Australian people. Mr Rudd also met the owners of a Lebanese food shop in South Granville in the electorate of Parramatta before heading to a cafe in Toon Gabby in the marginal electorate of Greenway. The campaign blitz came amid new polling published in the Daily Telegraph newspaper which shows Labour facing a real uphill battle to win the Western Sydney seats of Reid, Werriwa, Lindsay, Greenway and Banks. Mr Rudd is also in real danger of losing his own Queensland seat of Griffith, according to a poll published on the Guardian Australia website. The Guardian Lonergan poll has the Liberals candidate for Griffith, Bill Glasson, ahead of Mr Rudd 52 to 48 per cent on a two-party preferred basis in the seat. But the Prime Minister insisted he was taking the battle for his own seat very seriously and said Labour will keep fighting until the very end for seats right across the country. Treasurer Chris Bowen and Labour Minister Tanya Plibersek also took to the airways on Friday to insist Labour is still in with a shot of winning the election. Meanwhile, Shadow Treasury spokesman Joe Hockey has spooked Mr Glasson's credentials for Griffith but said voters will ultimately decide the matter. Opposition leader Tony Abbott was in Darwin on Friday where he was expected to make an announcement about plans to curb people smuggling.